So here's the way. This is, this is coming right out of the tank, flowing into here. Then it goes through our pasteurizer. This is pasteurized and then cooled down and run into our UF. This is an ultra filtration system. So what it does is it forces a liquid through a membrane. And by doing that, it's making solids on one side and liquids on the other. There's different size membranes, different shapes membranes, different pressures and flows that you can run. So in our case, we're trying to recover the protein out of the whey, which is a very, very small percentage of the total volume of whey. So this is the whey protein concentrate in liquid form. This is running about 84% protein at this point. So it's very, very sticky. And then the byproduct of this is called permeate which looks like a soft drink. So we'll take the whey protein and it will go into one of these two tanks depending on if it's organic or conventional. As you can see, it says organic on this. So we know this is organic concentrate from today. This organic concentrate will come over and go into this heat system here where it's warmed up which makes it a little less viscous and uh, then it's pressurized and it goes into this big dryer here. When it goes into the dryer it's sprayed like a mist and it's already been warmed up so it takes less energy to heat it up in the dryer. We don't have to heat the dryer to such a high temperature and it doesn't scorch the particles, all these things. If you look inside here, there are three nozzles that have very small orifices that they're forcing the liquid protein through. And so it's forming a mist and then it's dried at the temperature right now, it's 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like your oven at home. The powder falls down to the bottom without any moisture in it. And then it goes up three stories and falls down into the hopper up top. So this is the sifter here. So what we're doing, the protein, the protein is coming down. You hear those loud knocks. They're, they're just knocking the powder off of the walls in here. And inside here, there's a bunch of these, these cloth, cloth bags that catch the particles out of the air from flying around and then they're actually filtered into here where we've got a, a screen that forces the powder through and it goes into the bagging room below so again it's very small percentage of the total weight uh, way less than one percent so uh, we needed to do something else with the process, so we introduced a reverse osmosis and then a dried edible lactose plant. So this system here is reverse osmosis. This is the future of what's gonna be in every facility, from breweries to dairies to wineries to all of the above, distilleries. So we're taking that permeate, which was the yellow liquid out of the ultrafiltration unit, byproduct of whey protein, and we're sending it to reverse osmosis. So with reverse osmosis, we're again forcing a liquid through a membrane, and what it's doing is it's pulling out all of the, the lactose in our case, which is the milk sugar, um, and other trace minerals and leaving us with clean, clean water as a byproduct. So it's, we use a UV light to treat that clean water to kill off any bacteria that's in it, and then we can reuse it in our cleaning systems. It amounts to roughly 87% of our daily water usage. So we're technically not having to buy very much water, about 13% a day versus before when we were having to buy a lot more water. So this is liquid permeate. 
This is about 24% solid lactose, and it looks like neon yellow. So this is a milk sugar with some trace minerals and a lot of water in it. That's about it. We pull the water, which you can see is right here, and as you can see, it's ultra clear. We take this water, we run it through a UV light on the other side of this unit, kill all of the bacteria that's left in it, and then we can reuse it in our daily um, cleaning process. Roughly recover 87% of our daily water usage, which is really awesome. Here it's 30,000 gallons of the water that we use in our cleaning process. So right now we're running right around 40 to 45,000 gallons of water a day, recovering 30,000 gallons plus using reverse osmosis. Taking milk, using everything out of the milk, creating water, using the water, and then doing that on a consistent daily basis, which is, which is really cool. These other two tanks are EQ tanks. These are for our wastewater treatment facility, which we have on site. It's the first of its kind. Uh, the way I like to describe it is Norwegian and Oklahoma technology so it's a it's a combination of u.s and norwegian technology which allows us to fit it in a small footprint roughly 40 by 40. typical wastewater treatment facilities you have large lagoons with our facility we're able to fit it in this 40 by 40 footprint we're able to treat everything that goes down our drains on this whole block other than human waste. We reduced our BODs, which is biological oxygen demand, and also CODs, which is chemical oxygen demand, by 89 to 99% by putting in this system. That freed up a lot of home hookups for the city. That allowed the city to sell more sewer hookups for new developments and homes generate income for the city and also improve their wastewater treatment facility. So we're doing organic whey protein concentrate 80% today. Again, we're making a claim that it's 80% protein. So we're actually, where are we at today? 82, 84? 82, 83% protein. So we're making our ultra premium product. There's very low bacteria. There's very low off flavors. It's a premium product. And this particular product is found in other larger brand product, products around the world at this point.